Good morning, everybody. Good morning to all my Beamily fam. Hello, guys. Um, where do I start? First things first, I did not do my morning exercise or my morning yoga or my morning meditation yet. I feel like crap. Like, ugh. I will probably do my exercise, like my my morning cardio exercise, probably in a few minutes because I'm hard-headed and I don't listen. Um, the reason I'm chilling out for like now is because last night after I watched Catfish, um, we want to talk about that, but last night when I, after that went off and I saw like a little bit of the Catfish talk show, I went in my mom's room to get a sip of her soda because I felt like I had to burp. So, I'm getting a soda. The top falls off. So, I'm looking for the top. And she has the CD case. Like, the CD holder. It's black. And on the edge, I was looking for it. And I felt. And when I say I felt, like, I felt. And on there, I felt. And I hurt my leg. I felt, like, on the edge of the little black thing and it's like this and it has like a real sharp edge and I fell and that hit my leg and it gave me a scar it's still a little sore now but I probably will do my morning exercise it'll probably be afternoon exercise in a few minutes or probably later on I'm trying to let it like kind of stretch it out and let it heal up that's why every time I, I do something healthy I always injure myself the, then the night before that the night before that, my back felt, I remember I was telling you guys, my back literally felt like it was on fire. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just a klutz. I don't know. But, my back is fine. Thank you, Jesus. My leg is better. Um, it's just a little scar. It still has like a little stiffness in it, so I'd probably get some red alcohol. Put it on there. Um, probably get my mom's little wrap thing and wrap that up with it and then do my exercise with it. But, now that I got that all out the way, <laughs> um, let's just jump right into Catfish. So, Catfish. When it first came on, I was a little uh, kind of weird, right? But what the hell? Cat catfish has went from, like, being, like, a really good show to, like, kind of becoming, like, a horror flick. Like, <laughs> It's becoming to get like a little harsh. I don't know if I'm. It's becoming to feel like I'm watching a horror movie kind of thing. So, the girl, her name was, I think it was Solange. Was it Solange? I think it was Solange. And Elijah. So, this chick, right? Solange. So, she met this guy, was it six years ago? On MySpace. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? MySpace. Remember when MySpace used to be the shit? Remember Tom was like your first friend and you didn't never want to take Tom off because you thought that he might, like, take your page off. And you had, like, your top 8, your top 16, your top 24. All that good stuff. MySpace was the good times, right? Remember you used to put, like, the music on your page. You can add, like, different little stuff to it. Oh my god, MySpace was the bomb. Ugh. MySpace was the bomb back then, though, right? Wasn't it? I got on my MySpace page, I had the little mini refrigerator with the magnets. And you could, like, leave me a message, like, on my little refrigerator with the magnets. It was so cool back then. But, back to this chick. So, she met him. They were talking for, like, six years. Then they stopped talking. Then he hit her up on Facebook. And all this stuff happened. So, this is what kind of peed me off about this girl. Now, you don't know if Elijah is real or fake, a serial killer, an axe murderer, a rapist, a pedophile. -er. You don't know this. He could have been damn Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I said his name wrong. He could have been the guy off the movie. Hannibal, right? He could have been that guy. You have someone who you see, who you know is real, right? His name was Daniel. Daniel was so cute, 
right? But you leave. You wanna. You have someone real who you see every day. You know for a fact that they real. Like you know that they're there. You know they say. You know who they say they are is them. But you want to leave that person to go find this mysterious person who could be a sex uh, rapist, an ex-murderer. He could eat bodies. He could be doing anything. Chopping up things. You don't know. He could have been like the House of Wax Man. Burning people up and just chainsaw massacre. Nobody knew who damn Elijah was. I'm just saying. Okay? But you want to go find this mystery guy. Now the boy Danny tells her it's okay. I'd rather for you to be happy and get this out your system. Danny, you are so sweet. So, this is what happens, right? So, Max and Neve, they go, they look this guy up. Now, the guy says he did not have a, he did, the guy claimed that he did not have a phone. He did not have a webcam. So when they say that, the first thing they find is, what? A YouTube video of this guy, right? So then that kind of raises up stuff because it's like, okay, well, if he doesn't have, he claimed he doesn't have a webcam, how the hell is he shooting his YouTube videos, correct? Right? Because the iPod, I mean, you probably can shoot videos off your iPod, but I don't know. But yeah, on your iPod, You know, I had an iPod. I don't know what happened to my damn iPod, too. I missed that iPod touch. I had some good music on that shit, too. That's off subject, though. But, yeah. Whatever. So, then they found that it could have been a girl named Denise. Then they called, right? So, they were saying, Max and Eve were basically saying that if he was 13 and she was 13 when they first hooked up on MySpace, of course, the good old MySpace days. Um, then it could have been a girl because at that time a boy's voice kind of sounds like a girl going through puberty. Correct. So, long story short, they find this Elijah guy. But this is what is this what was like really hella hella creepy, right? So they go to the house, correct? And they not like me was ringing on the doorbell and he was like, "Did you hear something?" And Max was like, ring the doorbell like a man. <laughs> Which was hilariously funny. So, when Neve goes to open the scream door, and when he does this, the door flies open, correct? Then there's this weird guy named Josh, Joshua, who looks hella creepy, right? He opens the door, and he goes, hi, I'm Joshua. And they go, okay, well, uh, you know, standing there, right? So, Joshua tells them to come inside the house, right? So, when they go inside the house, Joshua looks hella creepy, correct? And he goes, hold on, I'm, I'll go get him. Do you want to meet him? He's downstairs. I'll go get him. Now, the first thing I'm thinking to myself, and I put this on Beamily. The first thing I said when they went to the door, I was like, it would be real funny if it's an old, big, fat, if it's an old, fat, old man. Right? Like, you, they open the door and it's like this old, big, fat, white man. Or this old, this old, fat man that's going, Hi, I'm Elijah. With big old man boobies. Like, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But when they opened the door and they, he went down the steps, it took him some while to, like, come back up. So then I'm thinking, oh, shit. What if Elijah's a little boy? Like, <laughs> what if Elijah's a little boy? Then my mind really starts panicking because you don't see Joshua come back up, okay? So now I'm thinking, what the hell, House of Wax, why the hell y'all going to that damn house for? Y'all asses better run, hop in the car, call this shit to quits. Like, what, why, right? So then everybody on Beamley is thinking, what if Joshua is putting on a wig? What if Joshua is really Elijah, right? So... You hear something, it gets like really creepy. Like catfish last night turned into like a horror flick. I didn't, I was with my girl, some more love. Shout out, boo boo. Thanks for subscribing to my page. But I was with you when I was like, am I watching catfish or am I watching a horror, am I watching like a horror movie? 
I was scared as hell. Like, I was, what the hell? Y'all need to be out. Like, why the hell y'all not running? So, long story short, they meet the guy. Comes up. It's who he says he is. It's the real person. Now, this is what pissed me the fuck off. You just met this guy, right? Why the fuck are you two getting damn fucking matching tattoos for? You just met this damn guy. You have damn Danny, but you decide to go get matching damn tattoos? She was stupid as fuck. Like, you're stupid. Why the fuck would you get a damn matching tattoo of somebody you don't even know? And then on the after show, she says, Oh yeah, by the way, me and Danny got married. Duh, does Danny know about your damn matching tattoo? Did she cover it? What the fuck? Like, what the hell? Who gets a matching tattoo of a stranger? A stranger. I'm just saying. That is all. That's all for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to all my Beamly fam. Some more love. Adam Davis. Daniel Davis. Miss Barbara Jean. Honey Boo Boo 87. And if I missed your name, I apologize. But you guys know I love you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I remember to subscribe, share, like, thumbs up, leave a comment. All that wonderful stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, all you need in life is love, peace, and happiness. Until next time. I love you guys. Pink kisses. Bye, guys.